What's up, everyone? It's Guy here with another crypto video. Um, this one is basically I'll give you my take after 12 day of uh, snowbank uh, staking uh, another Dow investment and why I pull my money out. Basically, after 12 days, I'm going to show you my results after 12 days. And before I go on with the video, if you haven't already like and subscribe to my channel, you like this content, um, please do so. Give me a thumbs up to support my channel so I can continue doing these types of videos. All right, guys. So this is my breakdown of snowbank staking here. Uh, I bought in. These are the price that I bought in here. The amount of money that I bought and invested in. Total is 1164 and these are the price point I bought in. I forgot how much I bought it for 350 at this price point. But this is the amount I bought in. And as you can see, I bought in pretty highs. So one of the strategy uh, of these DAO is that, uh, I have a video explaining it, is that the entry point is very important. And, you know, maybe this, uh, maybe be 409, currently they're sitting at, uh, currently, you know, Snowbank Dow sit at 409. It might be a good entry point uh, that I talk, that I explain. So I bought in at uh, somewhat of a higher price. So as you can see, you know, day one, 775. I thought I bought in uh, 1228. It goes uh, 775. It goes down, down, and there's a couple times that it's actually popped back up versus trend but as you see the trend is just basically going down we're basically the market's been as a whole it's not uh, it's not trending up so it's trending down um, that's one of the reason why uh, it goes down so this is this is my amount of SP time the current value and this is the current value that I have so this multiple like that so snowbank This is my value, 1055, so it should match up. Uh, 10, yep, $1,055. And this is my original investment. I'm in the hole, cutting my loss at, you know, $109. My investment return for money is negative, in the negative, so negative 9.3%. Uh, so as you can see, as time passes, I did accrue. Uh, it's accrue 0 0.03 per day. So I accrue from 1.097. I did have an injection somewhere here. But as you can see, it accrued, accrued 2.57. It accrued it after 12 days. However, with the accrue, um, but because of the price uh, going down, I'm not making any money. So um, I made a video explaining how long it would take for you to break even if the price uh, were to go down to its uh, to its lowest point um, I believe it's 125 days but one things here that I find that's um, that I think has a low low mark on it that I think that it's uh, worth mentioning is that let me show you here that's one of the reason why I pull it out too as well this price SB price 409 it goes all the way I like I mentioned 728 it goes down and here's the backing price 417 so it should always be high uh, backing price should never be higher than that of the value price so they need to burn SP note and that's one thing but the main thing I that I it messed up my calculation of 125 days to break your money is that let's say the Dow the snow down goes down and what I noticed that is the backing per SB also goes down so uh, let me see here. Let me pick up a video here that I did. Uh, SB. What's up, everyone? As you see, back uh, the price worked there, 481. Okay. This at the low point of what? 424. So this is even lower. So see, four, the backing is 417. Um, channel here. This is 481. All right. This is the. All right, this is a screenshot that I, I took. 
when I first purchased it 12 days ago. Um, as you can see, it's SP price is 796. Back end is at 670. As you can see, um, 670. Now the backing is 417. So my calculation is that it based on the backing per SB supposed to be fixed, but it looks like it adjusts with the market, and so it makes my calculation um, null in the sense that 125 days, if this backing price keep going down going down down then it's uh you can extend that all the way to whatever infinity so you're not going to be able to make your money if this price this backing price uh it's not constant it's not remain the same um it should go up but maybe it fluctuate goes down by burning it uh at least that's what i i originally thought you know what i mean so uh, the backing can go up, yes, because of the market goes up. It can because of the money. So once it goes up, then it can't really um, go down too much in that sense because you know you burn the money cap to keep the backing constant. Uh, you burn the treasury to keep the backing remain the same. But it looks like it'll fluctuate two hundred and six fifty three dollars. That's a lot. That's quite a bit so that's one thing that's got me thinking it's uh my calculations of this is not so there's something that uh, you know you need to look into that too as well i thought the backing shouldn't go down this much and it should somewhat remain uh, you know somewhat constant if more money coming in then yeah the backing will increase so that's one thing that i uh that gave me pause that got me pulled out so anyway let me uh another reason why i got out of snowbank okay this is snowbank from coin gecko um i believe the only projects only you know 14 This is the price, the market cap, okay? Shots up when it first, you know, IDO or first started. Goes from 365, uh, 300, 363 million all the way, see how it trend down? All the way to like right now it's at 50, 56 million. So 363 million to down to 56 million that do not look good um and then the price you know shot back up here at peak high 4400 and it shoot all the way down to four you know 400 essentially 399 it's a low so my thinking yeah this might be a good entry point mm. It could, it could, might well flip and reverse course. But with that amount of money uh, fleeing, um, and for this long, let's say it flee, let's say the money coming out for like a, you know, a few days and it pack back up like this right here. You know, this is a good trend that I like. Go back down up, uh, back up, down here, back up. This sold out because it packed up, sold out. So, concerning trend is that it goes down because every time I think if this number were to popped up, these originally original folks, if they haven't already sold to cut their loss, they would sell more. Uh, so it's a it's a snowball effect. So that's another main reason why I want I I pull it out. And, you know, we all in, in it for essentially, yeah, you can be in it for, say, um, for whatever reason you're in it. But ultimately, um, at the end of the day, it's a numbers game. You're in it for to make some gain on your money. And after 12 days, you're not making money in a hole. I think it's time to cut, in my opinion, to cut my losses. 
uh, and it's only $109 where I can actually do some other project like Trader Joe that uh, I can stake uh, our farm and to make that back in uh, fairly uh, fast. So um, I think 12 days uh, for some would think that it's not enough time. Um, originally I want to go in for about a month but the trend that's that doesn't look too good for me so I, I you know I got out a little early here. So that's that's it guy that's my take on it. So anyway I was I unstaked it. This is the balance that I just recently unstaked. So basically it's pretty simple. If you want to to stake and unstake early unstake you know I just did early I didn't show you but uh uh, you click max or whichever amount you want to do and press unstake. So it's kind of like this. I'll go back stake. I have this amount that I just unstake, but I'll show you. I'll click on stake just to give you a sample. And make sure you're on a, uh, you know, MetaMask Avalanche network to begin with. And basically this is the amount that's going to cost you to unstake or staking for the gas fee. Let me see here. 0 0.006 AVAX. 0 0.006.02 AVAX. So that's the amount you need to have uh, on your wallet in order to do this transaction to pay for the gas fees. All right, guys. I mean, otherwise, it will give you a insufficient fund error. I have a video of explaining the reason why. And if you want us, uh, so this is a bonus take. Is that what are you going to do with the SB? So what I'll do is I'll go to Trader Joe. Uh, okay, if you don't see Trader uh, SB on the Trader Joe here, just click on this here buy token and trade drill it just shows here so what i'll do is um i'll basically swap it out into avax uh, yep i do max i swap to avax and cost you a little bit of a i'll swap it out cost me you know 0 0.006 avax so guys do comment below your take and you know, if you're sticking through it or if you're uh, kind of follow my lines here, cut my little losses and move on. There you go, AVAX. So I got my AVAX from uh, SB. So I'm completely out of SB. Uh, originally, I thought that, you know, I'll cut maybe a little portion out of it. But um, the reason why I want completely max out is also I stake into the Wonderland as well. So I like that a little better riskier snow bank and then wonderland is a little more less riskier as far as the market cap and the and the trend of the wonderland so uh, i have two positions on these dow so i cut one and have the other one so that's one another main reason why all right guys with that said and done hopefully uh, you make some money cheers